Yeah, boy, I have a hard time with that, man. I don't know I'm getting myself in trouble. I'll say something innocent, and you'll come back on me because of your past. Well, I'm going to tell you something. When I, when I came, when I had to leave Phoenix, uh -huh. that tore my heart out. Because I did not want to leave. You hear me, loud and clear. Mm -hmm. This one did not want to go. Uh -huh. I stooped so low. I, I knew, I, I met this couple. They lived on that street close to where I bought my St. Bernard. Uh -huh. And I, and I knew I had to leave. And I said, can you, would you be able to take care of my two St. Bernards? I have to leave. Uh -huh. And they said, no, Beverly, we're sorry. We sold the house. Oh, boy. Every door slammed right in my face. Well, and Phoenix I... told me, uh -huh. he says, he suspected that I was staying with Ken. And there was nothing going on between me and Ken. I used to work with Ken at ADP. Uh -huh. There was nothing going on between me. He said, but I suspect you staying with him. He said, I'd find you. I'll kill him. This is unbelievable that this guy was stuck in trouble tonight. I'm, I'm, I don't know what to say. No, there's nothing you can say. So when I, so I was, so I knew, and and, and I know that you don't believe, but I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. I, I knew that the Lord played a part in it. I had it. It's, I don't want to call it a sixth sense. It was just something I knew. I knew. And every door kept shutting in my face. Everything I tried, nothing worked. Mm -hmm. Nothing worked. Mm -hmm. Nothing worked. Uh -huh. Nothing worked. And then, and I got back to Ohio, and I had to live with them, with Mom and Granny. And you thought I was what been like Lisa. I was seeing a different man every night, and four or five on the weekend. And all I did was work when I did get a job and come home. I didn't know nobody. And they get up at 4.30 in the morning, and the first words out of their mouth is talking about me. I'm mad that's it. I'm mad that's that. I'm mad that's it. I'm mad that's that. Well, and I got up one morning at 4.30 in the morning right with him, and Buddy and I blasted both of them. Wow. I let them both have it, both girls. I said, and that's when I, I cussed. Yeah. I said, you all can just go F yourselves. I mean, I, I tell you, Joe, hey, I came back with a big chip on my shoulder the, so, the size of Mount Everest. Well, you still got some chip on your shoulder. Well, I'm, yeah, I sure do. I'm mm -hmm. sure I do. Yeah, you'll go off on me for no reason. I'm, I'm sure, sure I do. You do. Yeah. You know? It's because, hard to calm you down when you do that. Well, you know? I mean, I, I see you. You don't know the rest of it. Okay. And see, I came back, and I knew, I knew that God made me leave, and I was mad. I was mad at stupid, very stupid. Okay, because He can take me out anytime He wants to. I finally got over it. Well, I had three St. Bernards. Three? I had three of them. Your house must have been a wreck. Mm, no, it wasn't really. How many you know, possibly had two of them, The two, two of them I kept outside. Oh. But I had to give the, my first one that I really, uh, that was the first one I got, I had to give, I give her away. And it broke my heart. Why'd you give her away? Because I was moving. I had to Oh, leave. that's right. Okay. You had three St. Bernard's at I the had same three. time. And, and the other two I showed. And I got trophies. Really? I won. Did you? Yes, I did. I got I got the trophies still in there. Really? So, um, Mayor was gone. And that one girl took conductor. I got the two brothers, 
and convoy I brought back here with me. Mm -hmm. Well, God will cut your heart out, and he don't care. When he gets mad, he does not spare. And I worked, I got a job there at Highlights for Children. So when I was able to take a vacation, I took my vacation. Mm -hmm. I got I managed to get in touch with Jane. He used, he used to be my friend when I first moved there. Yeah. And but I called the girl that took conductor. And she said, I said, well, I'm coming out there. And um, she, I said, I want to see the conductor. And she said, well, I hate to tell you this, but the conductor is dead. Somebody put antifreeze out. Oh. And they, there's something in that that they go for and they drink it. Why on earth would they do that? Well, people do it. And she said, we knew he was sick and we took him to the vet. And she said, they said there was nothing they could do. And she said that he just went back, back in the yard and we found him dead. Oh, well, then I kept, I had the guy's number that took my first one there. Oh, she's doing fine. She's doing good. Broke my heart. And then I called him and he said, well, she snapped at a little girl. Oh, did he have a little bit of a streak in it? No, she never did. Just all of a sudden one day he did that. Well, something happened. Mm -hmm. And he said, I gave her to my cousin and they uh, took her up to Colorado. Okay. So after that, I don't know what happened to her. Wow. Man, you're blowing my mind. So, so I'm going to tell you, uh, strange things happen and it ain't, it ain't in your control, it ain't, wasn't in my control. And it, 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 it was just, I remember, I remember, this is just really odd, really odd. Okay. It was really strange. Yeah. It just wasn't right. Oh. Well. I brought convoy back with me, had to tie him up to the door because mom had three or four or five cats and which was pitiful. Oh, she so brought your St. Bernard back to I your did mom bring the one back with me. To live with five cats. How many of her cats she had. Mm -hmm. And so I worked during the day uh -huh. and she so tied him up at the door. Because Inside or outside of the door? That knob right there. So he was inside. Inside. Okay. So then one day he managed to get out. And he and, and I always took him there was a field behind that apartment complex. Mm -hmm. And he ran back there in that field. It took me forever to get him. Oh yeah. Well, I, well your Saint Bernard got off on me once, got out of your yard. I couldn't hardly get him back in your yard. I had a hell of a time. Well, and all of a sudden, he developed a lump on his face. Uh -huh. 